welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at some more... Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another compilation of stuff I found in the wild on the gram, which is a very unfortunate app. I don't really even like Instagram. I just go on there for the stories now because I feel like it's just one giant ad. I really never liked the app much, but now it's like everybody's trying to sell me something and even the explore page. It used to have good memes and now it's just old outdated memes we've all seen. Any whoozle, let's dive into today's video. We are going to be looking at, once again, a hun from the company called Green Compass. This one tickles my, I shouldn't say that. That could sound weird. This one spiked my interest because I have interest in this plant and once again I will be either bleeping it out putting something over it I don't know because you, you still can't be out and proud about it and talk about it freely so I'm just you get it I want to get monetized I'd love to stay that way one day she titled this post going through my doctor mom kit which okay I'm a little bit crunchy a little bit I was raised by a crunchy mom. I am a little bit crunchy, not too crunchy. Like we can still have a conversation. I will eat utter trash at like family functions. But as far as in the home, I try to keep it pretty clean eating. But going through my doctor mom kit, I'm, I'm a little nervous. It's, it's gonna go, it's gonna go weird. Okay, all the goodness we use every day, you can get them with a big added bonus this month and share the green love with your fam. The kids are such a good deal, especially this month with the free jellies. Okay, the title of this one says, going through my doctor mom kit, all the goodies we use every day, you can get them with a big added bonus this month and share the green love with your fam. These kits are such a good deal, especially this month with the free jellies. I would love to get into the ultimate crunchy dumb, which seems to be where she is, where we're not trusting um, Western medicine at all, and we're we're just we're just free balling it. Um, hopefully, she has a little bit of education on it. But Doctor Mom kit, that's a little spooky. That's a little spooky. I don't know. Hello, hello. All right, y'all. I'm trying to go live on Facebook and Instagram. Guys, did I miss something with this sweater? Uh, I'm, I'm no influencer, but I feel like all of these MLM Huns have this sweater. Is anybody else seeing this? Am I the only one who's seeing this? Also, it looks like this woman is doing a, a bit in the beginning where she's talking about her family and stuff. We don't need to hear about that. That's personal. I really don't care. It doesn't pertain to the video. So I'm going to skip ahead. But anyway, so I was running around doing errands for that. Um, and if you watched yesterday, I went live on my Instagram and just kind of like gave a little education on the difference between... Um, because so many people, I've been having some great conversations um, about could help so many people um and there's still like that big education piece where people are like afraid because they think it's going to get them or whatever and it's not um and if you feel that way you're not dumb like so many of us thought that um i mean i didn't want to get mine from a local hemp shop because i was afraid he was going to see my car in the parking lot but you know truly like i've said like this has helped our family so much um and so there's something i don't talk about a whole lot and i feel like i've gotten a lot of questions about it recently um, and this month is a really great month for it. So I thought I'd give a little information on our kits. Um, and some people are like, kits, like, what do you mean? Well, like when I first got started, I 100% joined for a kit because it's a 60% discount off your products. And y'all know we're cheap. Y'all know is a cheap skate. <laughs> um, and I've been a stay. How cheap can you be when you're in an MLM? Like, are you having to like take away from other places so you can fund your MLM, like your auto ship every month? I was a cheap ass, but that was because my money had to go right back into the MLM. Oh, mom for forever. So I wasn't bringing anybody to the table. Not that he made me feel that way, but I felt that way. So I was just looking for, you know, a less expensive way to try out these great organic products. Um, and so I got the kit. I don't know this off the top of my head, but I am certain that there's got to be another organic 
line that you can get that's not from an MLM. I don't think you need to try them from an MLM, least of all this one. Um, and the kit at the time, they've changed. Um, you know, it came with a couple bottles of oil, it came with our topicals, and it was just, they're great. Um, so now, whenever I talk to people, the kits are something that you don't know a lot about. So we actually have two. Um, and this month, you get our number one selling product with it, which are our nano jellies. Y'all know I sing these praises for these bad boys all the time. Um, I take a full one, I take um, a quarter, taking a third, sometimes two, um, when he's stressed out at school a little bit. Um, and then he's been taking a half of them. So the whole family takes these. They're broad spectrum, so they're THC free. Interesting. I, I know some people feel conflicted about giving things like this to their kids. And I honestly don't know enough to give my opinion on that. All I know is I wouldn't necessarily do it for my kid because I don't know enough about it. And I'm sure she does like a lot of education on her thing and good because if you're going to publicly declare that you give these to your kids, definitely add some education because it's, it's still something that is being learned about and studied. Safe for the whole family. And you know what I love about it? Um, with our oil, you put it under your tongue. And so you really need to hold it for like 60 to 90 seconds. And y'all know kids, don't always do that. So I love that I can just give them the jelly um, and I know that they're getting exactly what they need and that not have to wait for them, you know, to hold it under their tongue or anything like that. So you actually get these free with any of our kits this month, um, which is huge because it's like a good $120 value. So that's awesome. And you get 30 of them in there. So even better. Um, you know, I actually, I do have a thought. I feel as though when you're an adult or you get into your teenage years and you're having some trouble regulating your emotions or like how to deal with them and you have some mental health stuff going on, medication of wh whatever kind is, you know, cool with your doctor, I'm on board as long as it's safe for you. But I feel like children, I, I, and this is just me, I, I'm not mom shaming her, I, I really, I can't speak on her kids, but I feel like for my kids, I, I, I would want to teach them emotional regulation and what to do with those big feelings and when they're overstimulated and all that without giving them some sort of supplement or giving them a jelly. Like, I feel like it's important to like lay that groundwork and not that she isn't. I feel like it would make more sense to add those things in when they're an adult and can really understand what those things are. I don't know. I don't know, it gets into rocky territory, but. But I just wanted to give you some info on the kits because what I like to call them are our doctor mom kits. Um, just kind of like when you get started with like essential oils and things like that, you know, you need more than one just to like kind of get a feel for like what's good for what things. Um, and we've got so many awesome products in our product wheelhouse now and they're good for everybody so especially like moms or somebody that's got multiple people in the house truly everybody can benefit from these kits um or even like just one person if you're gonna buy more than one product these kits are like a better bang for your buck so our first one is gonna come with two different things of oil you're gonna get a full spectrum oil um which is gonna have the trace legal amounts but all the benefits of the plant. Um, and you're also gonna get our oil, um, which is awesome. This is great for anybody who's like drug tested, anybody, you know, kids that are taking it or anybody that just wants to stay clear of the I mean, it's the blood orange vanilla flavor. So good, kind of like a creamsicle. Love this as well as the jellies. Um, you're gonna get both of those oils. Also this one, you're gonna get the jellies. Um, and then you're gonna get, this is like our traveling. You can look at these until they're well loved. Um, you're gonna get our roller balls uh, with essential oils. So we actually have six different ones. You're gonna get every single one of those too. Um, and we've got one for focus. The kids use that every single day before school. Um, calm, we use this at night or just like when tension runs high. Uh, we travel with this thing all the time. Um, this is the women's monthly blend. I'm not gonna say anything else except for ladies. You need this when it's that time of the month. We've got crane. Well, are we too shy to talk about our periods, guys? 
Maybe it's because I'm going on 28 this year, but who cares? Who is still shy about talking about their periods, guys? Don't be shy. Pull the tamp out of your bag in the bathroom. You know what? Pull your pad out. I'm a pads girl now and I'm no shame. I tried my whole time having my period up until probably mm, last winter. Mm -hmm. Probably up until last winter, I decided, you know what? No, I'm not doing the tampons. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm a pads girl. I'm doing it. I change them like a crazy person because I can't stand knowing that there is a certain substance in my pad. I change them like a crazy person to feel a little bit cleaner. I have some water wipes that I take with me because I don't want to use fragrance down there, but I don't want to stink, so I like to clean it off. And also, get a bidet. We got one, what, last year, I think it was? Game changer. Game changer, game changer, game changer. I feel so clean after a giant dumperoni. It is a miracle that I'm married, truly. Um, and now I don't know where I was going with that because I have stumped myself. Which is great for tension headaches, when you have like sinus issues, um, any type of headache, especially when you have the stomach, stomach bug and can't take medicine, rub that on your temples and your forehead. Mm-hmm. Um, ice, which is great for any type of like muscle tension or soreness. Also awesome for growing pains because we get those a lot in this house. Um, and then shine. Okay, do, do you guys use Icy Hot on your muscles? Because I feel like it doesn't do anything for my muscles. I feel like it just makes my skin feel weird. And is that supposed to distract me because my muscle still hurts? Am I using it wrong? I don't know, I just am a mess. I just don't see the value in it. I, in essential oils, I don't know. One time I put, I wanted to smell good and I had this orange essential oil and I didn't know you're supposed to dilute it and I'm sure most people don't. These essential, well, she's not an essential oil, but they, I think they just have some in their company, but a lot of people don't talk about mixing it in a carrier oil. So you're not just putting it right on your skin. Yeah, bitch, I put, orange like I think I put like orange like this and then I put lemon like this or vice versa but I put both lemon and orange on and I had a rash like I turned bright red it was embarrassing I I, I was not doing what I thought I was doing be careful with essential oils also if you have a headache essential oils might not be the way to go because smells might make it worse but it works for everybody. Which is a mood uplifter. Um, I love to put that in our mask just because, you know, it makes you a little more happier <laughs> when you're masked up. Um, but you get those and you're gonna get our topical creams, which our topical creams are amazing. Um, these are good for so many different things. And this one right here is our Soothe, which is actually exactly what it says. It's soothing to any type of rash, um, you know, like bug bite, burn. We use this for sunburns. I've used it on kitchen burns. I burned my arm. Riley actually burned herself making pancakes last week. We used it. She was good. Um, we all, we both have eczema and I also have psoriasis. Um, thank you, arthritis, for all those extra little tidbits in life. Um, and this helps so much. I was actually able, this is not a test, this is not a medical claim, but me personally was able to stop my with the use of this. So it's awesome. A little bit goes a long way. Um, and I even have some. Somehow I question that because I get eczema spots on my arms and sometimes on like my stomach or my back. And I have used a Schmeroid cream to help and that really does help. But I have tried so many freaking lotions and like oil and lotion combos to help. I'm sorry, but I really don't think that's what did it. Just from experience, like I, there's no amount of lotion. Like when you get one of those patches, there's no amount of lotion that is going to penetrate and heal that. I just don't believe it. I just don't. People that use this as their like daily moisturizer, which is pretty cool. Um, and then we've got our Reduce Cream, which is awesome for pain. I have, like I said, I have June, June The Boost line don't actually contain an essential oils. Um, terpenes are from the hemp plant 
and they're good for so many different things. So we have a metabolism, an immune boost. Hello, if you're alive, you need this. Um, we've got a sleep boost. We also have a pain boost, which are all great for so many things. So it's just like an added boost to your CBD. Um, they're also going to come with the bath soaks, which my kids love those. Um, they're also like THC free and absolutely amazing. Um, and then we, it's also going to include like with that second kit, the whole entire skin line um, and our pet oil. So the pet oil is something that a lot of people like first get introduced to because they've heard to give it to their dogs for, you know, all sorts of things. If they're, you know, anxiety in induced or, you know, if they don't like traveling or they bark at the mailman a lot or maybe they're a little hyperactive, um, the pet oil is great. I've got people that give it to their cats, their horses, all the things. Um, but anyway, I know I'm rambling, but I just don't go over all the goodness of the kit. So I kind of wanted to like explain that. And the great thing about it is that y'all, these kits are literally what it costs to do like a Costco haul or a tra Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's sometimes, especially if it's a holiday season. But, but you get way less than you would at Costco or even Trader Joe's, which in my opinion is high. Target haul for your family. So it's literally, you know, something that is like not super expensive. Um, and like I said, it's a 60% discount off these products. So if you've been at all interested in CBD or you've already been taking CBD and you know you've bought like two products, like the kits are awesome and you're going to get those jellies this month. Um, and then I have a special little treat for you too. So just kind of want to do like a little education piece on our kits. Um, like I think there was something in my old company where you can't like incentivize people to sign up as customers, like give something away for free to try to convince people to sign up as a customer. I wonder if this company has something too, because <laughs> what's the special treat? I call them the Dr. Mom kits because literally, um, funny thing is that one of the kids had a fever. This was like a month. Dr. Mom kit, but we're not making medical claims, right? Um, and like their stomach hurt. And so I went to our medicine cabinet, every single thing in there had expired. And I was so excited to see that because we literally replaced like all the medicines that we were taking before with this like plant-based goodness, um, which that's huge because before we were buying Tylenol, ibuprofen for ourselves, children's ibuprofen from Costco. Um, and the fact that like even my kids will turn to this. Like if they have a headache, they're like, can I get the crown or, you know, muscle ache, whatever. They're like, mommy, can I get the reduce or, you know, the soothe. As soon as Riley got burned, George was like, get her the soothe cream. Um, so I absolutely love it. It's not that all MLM products are trash. I mean, they're trash because they're from an MLM, but some of the products themselves, if they weren't in an MLM are okay. They're, 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 for every MLM product, you can find something, a dupe for it, or even something better maybe. But once again, I really don't like how much this person uses their kids to help sell the product. I, I really don't like that. I have problems even to this day, and I've been out of the MLM for two years now, Two years, right? Yeah, I think so. Two, about two years now. And I still feel weird about posting any pictures of my son or my family at all. Like, I just don't like it because I felt like I had to exploit them so fucking much when I was in my MLM that now it feels like dirty, even though I gained nothing, like absolutely nothing by sharing pictures of my son or my family. But it's just like, like, I, I just feel weird about it. And so I do keep that part like of my life like a lot more private because I felt like I exploited it for so long and it's still a lot for me to like even post a, a picture of my son's like hair, you know? It's still a big deal for me to post like anything about my family at all because I still get that like residual feeling of am I exploiting my family for something? And it's like, no, what the fuck am I gonna gain from that? And there's bureaus on the internet, so. <laughs> we love it. And so if you've got questions on what might work for you or your family, y'all don't hesitate to reach out. I'm an open book. Um, the reason I share these products 
is because I love them and it's something we use every day. Um, and it's funny, you don't have to, you know, joining on the business side, like with these kits, you don't have to sell a thing. So if you just want it for the awesome discount that it is, like go for it. That's what, that's what it's here for. Um, there's never any inventory you have to carry. There's never any quotas that you have, no monthly minimums, anything like that. Um, so a lot of people overthink it and don't like sell themselves short about these kits. Um, but of course, like if, so if you want them for the deal, go for it. If you want to run with the business though, I mean, the time is now there's, you've seen lots of buzz around the CBD industry where the industry is going as a whole. Um, and I'm telling you right now, Green Compass is leading from the front and I've never been more excited to be a part of all this. Um, so if you want to link arms with us, come on. You don't have to know a thing. I will hold your hand and show you every step of the way. Um, and it's so fun just sharing these products that we take every day and love. Literally everything on this. For me, it's not fun. I, I hope for her it's fun. I know some people think social media is fun. I go through phases though where I don't want to create any content. I don't want to post on anything. I want to disappear because it's it's a chore, especially when I'm not, when I don't, it, it, it's, it takes a lot out of me now. And I mean, it took a lot out of me then, but now it comes with all these ba this bag of feelings that comes along with me doing anything on social media. So it's not always like, oh, I'm doing this because it's fun. I really like the editing and I really like jabbering for hours on end about how much I hate MLMs. And you know what? This goes out to all my MLMers who say that anti-MLMers are haters. I think a lot of anti-MLMers like to say that they are, you know, like educating um, and they're not haters per se. They just don't like certain things. I am a hater. I, I am a hater. I hate it. I hate them. I hate the culture in MLMs. I hate the culture in your MLM. If you're in an MLM watching this, I hate the culture in your MLM. I do. I do because it's not different. I guarantee it. Maybe, maybe there's less drama on your team. I don't like the culture in your MLM though because MLM culture sucks ass. Okay, I'm sorry. Getting carried away, a little overzealous table that I just showed you is something that we use every day, um, if not every other day. And it's just absolutely incredible that this can be like, you know, your, your full-time gig, your side gig, whatever you want it to be. Um, we're here to support you. But anyway, I won't take up any more of your time. Just had this on my heart and mind to talk about all these products and these kids and wanted to share it with On your heart, you had these products and the kit on your heart. Just say you want to sell shit and make some money. There's no shame in it. I don't think it's shameful to say that I'm doing YouTube and hoping to get monetized so that one day I can make more than I did in my MLM because who doesn't want a little extra money? I do, but I'd like to get it in a little bit more ethical of a way. And this is genuinely, genuinely, God, every video, I misspeak something. Genuinely fun for me. Like I do enjoy this. I might not be smiling and peppy and fake all the time, but I do enjoy this. This is fun. This is my fun. Okay. <laughs> but it doesn't come from the heart. Like when I was in my MLM, I was not, and maybe it's just me, maybe it's just me, but I was not talking about the products from my heart. They were never on my heart. They were on my mind, but I did not connect with the products emotionally. I didn't share them because I was emotional about the products. I, well, no, I did get excited about the keto coffee because that, I hate to say it, but that shit was good. It was good, but it didn't do anything, so. Y'all, so I hope y'all have a great Wednesday. And if you are near me here in Raleigh or in North Carolina, let's see if we get this snow they're calling for. It's a bit of a letdown <laughs> this weekend. Um, so I'm hoping we kind of get one good snow day in um, tomorrow or Friday. So y'all let me know if it's snowing where y'all are. But y'all have a good one. Bye, y'all. All right. So you know how she is? I, I hope that she is as nice as she presents herself in this video. I really do. And I want to go on good faith and say that she is a, a, as nice as she's acting in this video. I'm not someone who enjoys surface level conversations. I don't like small talk. I want to get to st straight poop. If you want to trauma dump on me, trauma dump on me. It is the most interesting thing. I want to have deeper conversations 
right off the bat. Okay, that's the type of person I am. So talking about the weather, I hope we get some snow. If I said that out loud, it would physically exhaust me to be that fake. I enjoy not being that fake anymore so much. Maybe she is excited, I don't know. But in the way she's talking, I used to try to be like that and it was so fucking tiring. And I'm so glad I don't have to do that anymore. Anyway, I said it in my video before this one that if you guys wanted me to do a shallow dive on this company, I will. I'll try to gather some information. I also have a couple other shallow dives that I am working on. I hope to get out very, very soon. It takes me a lot of work and time to get this done um, around being the matriarch of my family, <laughs> but around, around family life and because I do prioritize that now and, and being present with them and just doing this in my free time. Like right now, you're probably getting scary stories in the dark vibes and that's because I'm filming at nighttime. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one with me, letting me know your thoughts below. And if you have an experience with this company, can you please leave a comment? Because to me, it seems super new. Like I don't see that many people talking about it. Like, yes, there's some people on Instagram. That's pretty much it though. If you guys find stuff in the wild, send it to me. I know I have some emails sitting there from you guys waiting. Some things I, I just don't know if I can talk about because I don't want to get into any trouble, but they are juicy. There is some tea. I hope one day to share those stories. But if you find some posts and stuff, videos you want me to check out, Send it to me. Posts are a lot easier for me to look at those. So if you wanna DM me those on Instagram, I do check my inbox. If you enjoyed this video, I hope that you will like, share, and subscribe. My goal is to get to a thousand subscribers by my birthday. I probably haven't done this by the time you're seeing that, <laughs> but I hope to get to a thousand subscribers by my birthday so that I can get monetized and one day make more than I ever did in my time in the alleged triangle-shaped business structure. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.